Well, hello, it's August and all of the fruits of my labor since the end of February are starting to show. I have cucumbers that I need to can. I have a lot of beets I have something fun for. And this morning, guess what I found? Hatch chilies in the grocery store. And when hatch chilies arrive, you roast chilies. That's just the way it goes. So not only that, I have honey that I'm gonna be harvesting in a couple of weeks. And I thought maybe you might be interested in taking a look at them. So I wanna open up my hive. I wanna show you what they've been up to, what they look like, what it looks inside, what capped honey looks like. And then when we're done, I want to bring you back in here and I want to show you a cucumber cocktail. So if you guys have a garden and you have lots of cucumbers coming off, this is a great way to use those cucumbers up. And it's going to taste like summer in your mouth. I thought I would show you my garden before we get into the hive today and before I get my bee suit on. So if you'll take a look here, I have quite a few tomatoes that I'm hoping are going to come off in a couple of weeks. Some of them are massive. I have okra here. I think these are dwarf okras. I can't totally remember. Two rows of black eyed peas. Zucchini plant that's massive yet doesn't seem to give me very many zucchinis. On this row I've got a habanero, several flowers, basil, I have two jalapenos, and two cayennes. At the end I've got three goldens, golden tomatoes I should say. They're dwarf tomatoes, pretty stocky, but I put uh, cages around them just to kind of help. This is my beets. The beets have not really liked the hot weather very much. And then back here we have cucumbers and melons. And as you can see right now I have a lot I have a lot of blooms from the cucumbers and the melons. I have quite a few flowers, all for my bees, and as companion plants for for my garden, really. So, let me get my bee suit on and let's open that hive up. Here are the things that I want to know about my hive. I have to get it ready for the winter, so I need to see in reality how much honey I'm gonna harvest, because I've gotta leave enough honey for them for the winter. So, I'm gonna look and see how much honey are in the upper supers, how much honey are in the, the lower ones, and really see if I'm gonna be able to harvest any, and if I do harvest, how much. So, let's, let's give this a try. makes me happy. Alright. It is completely filled with honey. Take this one out. All right, so here's capped honey. Capped honey. Capped honey. It's like 
I swear this is beginner's luck. It's, I can't even imagine how heavy this is in a deep frame. See kind of how they have brought the comb up there? Of the buzz. It's just like anybody else. You know, you know when someone's pissed off. By their tone. You know when bees are pissed off. By their tone. Sweating profusely. Okay, I didn't see, this was pretty capped. I didn't see any eggs in here, which is good. You don't want to see eggs. You want to see brood where you're harvesting. Okay, that's brood. That's brood. That's where their eggs are. See these little knobby things here at the bottom? I can't point it out there at the bottom. I think that's a queen cell. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. But, but I don't see a ton of them. Just... Just a couple. Alright, so that's, that's the brood. Alright, y'all. Alright, cat tunny on the edges. Brood. I don't know what that's about. Okay, that was eventful. <laughs> okay, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make a cucumber gimlet. Let me tell you what you're going to need first. Gin. You're going to need three to six cucumbers. It depends on how big your cucumbers are. Um, you're going to need either basil or um, mint. Depends on your preference. And either roses, sweet and lime juice, or a lime and some simple syrup. I like to use my honey simple syrup, so I'm gonna use a lime and simple syrup, but you can absolutely use roses because actually gimlin is meant to be used with roses lime juice. We're going to make cucumber water and we're going to infuse the gin with the cucumbers to use a lot of cucumbers up. So grab two or three cucumbers, peel them, uh, seed them, chop them up, put them in a blender, blend them up. I want you to strain it once, strain it twice through a finer sieve, and then either do it a third time through some cheesecloth or just let it sit overnight. It will separate and then you can pour the water off and the solids will be at the bottom. You can see that this is one that have, I have poured off and, and separated. 
This I just made and it's a darker green. It will separate. It doesn't matter which one, it's still gonna be super, super uh, cucumbery. Now I need to make the cucumber or the infused cucumber gin. So I chopped up about two of, the, actually it was more like three cucumbers. I'm gonna put six ounces on this or in these cucumbers. Let it set for a couple of days. You don't want to let it set longer than a couple of days because it'll get better. Once it sat for two days, so now you have your infused cucumber gin. Now we need to make the cocktail. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna take basil. So grab a handful of basil. Okay, and I already have my two ounces of infused vodka. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna pour two ounces of my cucumber water. And this, in this cute, this is just a leftover vanilla bottle that I washed and I use it for my simple syrup. It's fantastic. All right, one ounce of simple. And the juice of a half a lime. And then I'm gonna muddle this. Okay. You want to just kind of bust up the herb so that it releases its aroma, its flavor. Okay, that's done. Let's grab some ice. more and more of a fan of stirring cocktails rather than shaking them. I just like I just like it better. You can certainly shake it if you want to. Now I have my container or my container, my glass in the freezer cold. I'm going to seal that so that it doesn't spill out because I have been known to dump a lot of cocktail out. And I'm actually going to do this over the sink. So here we go. And then I'm going to garnish with some basil and there we have it a cucumber gimlet oh my god that's so perfect it's so summery all right thanks for watching and I will see you next episode <laughs>